So yes, yeah, so I'm Education Manager at Moodle HQ. I'm a big fan of the community. Um, you may, you probably realise, after, especially after yesterday's birthday party and the birthday cake, that uh, Moodle is 20 years old. And in actual fact, thanks to the uh, Wayback Machine Internet Archive, this is the forum post on the original Moodle site that Martin made announcing Moodle 1.0 is ready to fly with loads of cool new features like uh, documentation and so on. And, and at that time in 2002, he was, up, uh, was updating and giving us uh, announcements. What people don't realize though is that uh, people were replying to this. For instance, the day after his announcement, uh, we had Ivan who said, oh, now documentation, mm, it will cost me a pretty penny to read that documentation online from Yugoslavia, so email it to me as soon as possible, Martin. And also Abdul, with a rather scary prescience, says, uh, do you have plans for a grade book? So you see that even then, in 2002, this was the very beginnings of the Moodle community. Um, and now, of course, that community, which is mainly on the site Moodle.org, has uh, many different forums, which are in courses, which we actually call community, in 30 different languages. Uh, and so you can join in whatever your native language is. This is a screenshot of my dashboard on Moodle.org. So I just love going in and, and reading forum posts. So I'm sharing my experiences in Moodle in English, Moodle in French, Moodle in German, Moodle in Russian. I might just go in Moodle in Spanish. I'm just maybe. Um, and so the, one of the great things about Moodle is that it is multilingual. And the, trans, the, the words, the interface, as we call them, the language strings in Moodle, that's another way that you can contribute, not only by answering and asking questions in the forums, but on another community site, lang.moodle.org, you could help improve the language strings of your native language. If it's the language that doesn't yet have a language pack, you could maybe volunteer to start one. If uh, your native language is English, well, if you're American, you can actually help improve Moodle US, which is a little bit different from the English language pack. There's also actually a language pack called ENFIX, which if you spot something that's not quite right in the main English language pack, you can suggest that. So there are lots of ways that you can help improve the interface in different languages. And it's not only about seeing it as you're navigating around Moodle, of course. What we want now is we want people to translate uh, Moodle content. So on the site Moodle Academy, we are inviting people to come in and take a course. It's called Translating Moodle Academy. Actually, Richard, the, an Academy member, he did a presentation on that yesterday. And then you'll understand how to use our special translation plugin and turn our courses into other languages, which, is, which again is a great way of enlarging our community. So Moodle Academy, uh, another community site where you can uh, get some professional development and you can also collaborate there, not only just coming and watching and engaging in our webinars, here's the ones we've got coming up, we have two a month, but also you could volunteer to co-present a webinar, you could volunteer to co-create a course, for example. So various ways that you can contribute. And in terms of courses and course content, um, don't forget MoodleNet and MoodleNet have presentations as well. This is our site for finding, sharing, curating open educational resources. And already we've actually added, uh, I think it's 69 Moodle courses which you can get as a collection. You can get, you can adapt, update for your own purposes. Just another example is a collection of competency frameworks. We have quiz questions. We, we may shortly be having some user tours and so on. So as well as looking at them and taking, you could also give some of your own. Other ways you can contribute to the community, and as you see, it's kind of lots of different communities, but they all make one whole, is Moodle user documentation. 
which um, it is a wiki, and I'm saying that because rather than, as I often see in, in the Moodle forums, people saying, oh, that page is out of date, someone needs to correct it, well, you could correct it. Feel free to go into the user documentation and actually update it or correct it, update the screenshots. If you're a little bit nervous about editing a wiki directly, you can actually make a comment on what's called the talk page, and then I will see it or someone will see it, and we can make that edit for you if you're a bit too shy. But do feel free, it's an ongoing, moving document. Now, that's for users, as in admins, teachers. For developers, the developer documentation, actually now, there's a cool new site for developers, developer resources, moodledev.io. And so the former wiki that held the developer documentation, which was somewhat outdated, is now gradually being migrated and updated over. So, if you're a developer, then you are very welcome to help migrate this. And this is using GitHub, so you will, this, will, this is very developer-y, if that's the word, I don't know. And so you're very welcome to help migrate from the old developer wiki into the new on GitHub, moodledev.io. Yeah, developers are an integral part of our community as well as teachers and admins and so on. If you're a developer and you've developed a plugin, then, rather than keeping it close to your bosom and not wanting anyone to have it, why not share it in, the, in Moodle.org plugins, in our plugins directory, so others can benefit from it? Or, perhaps, you could maintain a plugin that's been neglected and abandoned and no one's looking after it, and review as well, so we can keep the many plugins uh, up to date. Now, in terms of finding bugs with Moodle, that's not just for developers. Anyone can report a bug, okay? Of course, if you're a developer, then not only could you report it, you could actually fix it. If you find something on your site that's not working how you expect, go to the Moodle.org forums and ask other people if they have similar problems. If they also have a similar problem, you could re uh, report this on our tracker. Here's another site, tracker.moodle.org. In fact, that screenshot you see there, that is a heat map. Um, although I thought it was a word cloud. Is that the same thing? I don't know. But actually, you can see all of our community sites there with the largest one, moodle.org there. And actually, Moodle.org, I feel, is the portal, if you like, to our many other community sites. And currently, this is the portal, Moodle.org, um, and that's what it looks like at the moment. And at the top, there is a black bar with links to some of our other community sites. Now, I can't remember, I think it was 2013, I did mean to ask Helen before I started, that this was last updated. I know it was shortly after I had learned, I had, um, shortly after I joined Moodle HQ, and so it was very much in need of a revamp, and also we really want to focus on community if on Moodle.org. So behind the scenes, over the last few months, we have actually been redesigning First of all, the front page of Moodle.org, but then it's going to go out into other sites as well to be consistent and to have a new modern feel with a community focus. So coming soon, in, um, possibly in, in October at some point, we'll have a new look, Moodle.org, and, and you can see immediately, welcome to the Moodle community. Um, and very much a community focus. You can still see links, and right at the, the top, the first link there, forums, so you can go and share your experiences. Also, I don't know what that's called, those um, circles in the, top, in the top right, but again, quick access to Moodle.com, to Academy, to Moodle.net. And you'll also see a big button, Get Involved, which takes you to a page where you can access the various ways in which you can get involved with the community. We would like to point out that we'd love it if, uh, if you've done our translating uh, course on Academy, um, at some point if you can help us to translate this front page of Moodle.org. Also, if you're a language pack maintainer, if you can help. Because currently, um, being multilingual, Moodle is translating 
translated. Moodle.org is translated into 16 languages, and we'd like to launch it with translations. Um, now, because we really want to improve our focus on community, we have a new team member. No one's leaving, we're all still here, but we have now a new Moodle community engagement lead, Aurélie Soulier, who literally started on Monday, um, although she has been using Moodle for many years. So I'm just going to stop now, and in the last couple of minutes, I'm going to pass over to Aurélie just to say hello. Thank you, Mary. Um, hello. <laughs> um, I haven't prepared anything for this because I was just going to say hello. Um, I'm obviously, I've just started on Monday. I'm the community engagement lead now for Moodle and I'm trying to find out what my role is, my, what, what my remit is. But um, I have some ideas and some kind of missions at heart of making Moodle.org the center of our community. And I know it sounds a bit fluffy, but I'd like to see the community site being a warm place where everybody feels they can share things, contribute and help each other. And also um, where people can uh, feel um, they can ask for help. Uh, where sometimes may or may not be the case. But one of the key things, and obviously my name's Aurélie Soulier, I'm French. I would like the Moodle.org site to be um, accessible to non-English speakers, so the translation is essential, but also um, the processes in which we involve people in how we look for new features in Moodle. I haven't got anything on me that <laughs> um, are essential as well. So it's just looking at all these things, and I hope uh, over the time, different initiatives, and we'll do some things that work, then we'll do something that don't work, but please keep giving us feedback, and come and talk to me about ways that you think the community can be brought together as well, and I'm really happy to hear all your views. Thank you. Okay, we will now accept questions. We have just a couple minutes for questions, and please do speak into the microphone uh, because we are recording and we have folks that will really benefit from the amplification. So uh, raise your hand, please, if you have a question. I'll bring the microphone out to you. Hello, Mary. Hello, Rodrigo. Uh, I think that in Brazil we have this problem that the community do not know much English. So do you think in this next version we'll, we'll be able to have more videos? I, I, I will make videos every day if that's what people want. Yeah, absolutely. And, and let's hope that people will um, provide good transcripts in different languages as well of a, of a good quality. Thank you. 